Today we're going to create a book cover using Affinity Publisher and Lulu's cover template download. Let's get started. The easiest way to create a book cover in Affinity Publisher is with a template from Lulu's free design bundles. For this demonstration, we'll be using a US trade paperback. Navigate to the Publishing Toolkit under the Resources tab on lulu.com. Underneath the Preformatted Interiors section, you'll see the Design Guide Bundle section. Select your trim size, then click Download. This will download a folder to your computer that contains a book creation guide PDF, interior and cover template files, and Adobe PDF job options. Now let's open Affinity Publisher. Since we'll be using a template, click Close in the Startup box. Click File, Open, then locate the Cover Templates folder in the design bundle you just downloaded. Affinity Publisher allows imports of Adobe Photoshop files, so we'll open the Photoshop template for our paperback book. In the Layers panel, you'll see that our document contains a template guides group with three layers for the spine, front cover, and back cover. These guide layers display the paperback trim and bleed specifications, as well as the default spine width. Before editing anything, let's check on a few document settings. First, we'll make sure our color settings are appropriate. Click on the Preferences button in the toolbar, then click the Menu drop-down and select the Color tab. Be sure the RGB color profile is set to sRGB, and the CMYK color profile is set to US Web Coded. Click Close. Next, we'll make sure our units are set to inches. Click Document Setup in the toolbar, then select Inches in the Document Units drop-down menu. Click OK. Now we'll calculate our spine width and adjust our document width. Locate the Book Creation Guide in the Design Bundle, open it, and go to the Spine Width Calculations section. Since we're adjusting our spine width for our paperback book, we use the formula shown. My interior is 246 pages. We take 246 and divide by 444, then add 0.06 and round to the fourth decimal. Our calculated spine width is 0.6141. One inches. Our publisher document is set up with a default spine width of 0.1321 and a total document width of 12.38. In order to adjust our spread correctly, we need to subtract the default spine width of 0.1321 from our calculated spine width of 0.6141, which equals 0.482. Now we'll add this number to the total document width of 12.38 to get the correct dimensions. Our new document width is 12.862. Now we'll adjust our document width by going to File, Spread Setup. Since we want to adjust the width but keep the height the same, we'll click the lock icon between the width and height boxes so we can adjust the dimensions independently. Change the document width to 12.862 and click OK. Now let's adjust the guide layer. Expand the template guide group to show the layers within it. Click on the spine layer and enter the calculated spine width of 0.6141 in the width box in the transform panel. Hit enter. The spine guide layer should now be the correct width. Now we just have to realign our guide layers. With the spine layer still selected, click the align center button in the top toolbar. Then select the front guide layer and align it right and select the back guide layer and align it left. Now let's adjust our spine for a hardcover version of the same book. I'll open the hardcover Photoshop template in Affinity Publisher by clicking File, Open, and locating the template in the Design Bundle. When I open it up, you'll notice a few differences from the paperback cover template. The cyan area represents the portion that is wrapped around the cover board. The document page size is slightly different as well, this is to account for the cover board since it is slightly larger than the trim size of the interior. This time, we'll determine our spine width by referencing the hardcovers table in the Book Creation Guide PDF. Since our page count is 246, we'll reference the 223 to 250 page range that shows 0.813 inches as the intended spine width. Back to my publisher document, I'll go through the same steps as before. I'll subtract the template default spine width of 0.25 from my actual spine width of 0.813 to get 0.563. Then add that to the total document width, making our new document width 14.563. Then I'll open the spread setup, 
Click the lock icon to unlock the dimensions and change the width to 14.563. Now I just have to adjust the size of the spine guide in the transform panel and align each guide layer to the correct spot. Now our document is set up and we can start designing. Let's fast forward a little bit to the end of the design process so we can see how to export our PDF. Our final result will be a one-page PDF spread for our back cover, spine, and front cover with bleed included. Be sure to hide the template guides layer by unchecking the checkbox in the layers panel if you haven't already, then click File, Export. Click on the PDF tab in the dialog box, then choose PDF for print in the preset drop-down menu. Click Export. Name your PDF and choose where you want to save it, then click Save. That's it! Now your book cover is ready to print. For more information on how to prepare an interior file, check out our other tutorials, and as always, let us know if you have any questions. <laughs>